on Epsom Downs, Mecca race goers today as it has been for well over a century, the stage is set for the derby. Half a million people are keyed up to a pitch of feverish excitement, wondering whose colours will flash first past the post. So the layers are here in full force. And while the bookies rake it in, tipsters on the course and in the press, as usual, know the infallible winner. Today, rich man, poor man, beggar man, garage proprietor, all gather on the famous downs, where class distinctions are lost sight of. Meanwhile, the multitude must eat. Hot dogs, lost dogs, satisfy the cockney appetite, washed down by oceans of the best. Find the lady. Find my wallet. Sideshows range from coconut chives to strong men, all the usual tribe who spice the great day with this essential cockney flavor. The Tic Tac men are busy. It's near the off. The jockeys arrive and the horses are saddled. No other festival displays so well the tolerant good humor typical of Britain. Wet or fine, win or lose, the spirit of this vast crowd never changes. The only thing that changes is the winner. The same horse never wins the derby twice. Eleven hour scratching leaves 22 runners to parade. Here they are, the biggest racing puzzle of the century. Number two, Payer, favorite and carrying Lord Astor's hopes of finding his first derby winner. Eleven, leading the Aga Khan's fine string, Bala Hissa in blinkers. Twelve, Mahmood, and it wouldn't be the first time the Aga's second string came through. Twenty-three, the American-owned Boswell, whose rapid rise to favor leaves the whole course guessing. perfect start and they've all come up the hill in great style. Carioca looks to be nearly a length in front. Bala Hissar and Midstream are close behind and Abjur's moving up well. Abjur's a French horse and well fancied. On this hard going they're all keeping a hot pace. Carioca still in the lead. Midstream, Barristar and Thackerton are all making a race of it. Carioca's owned by the Maharaja of Raj Pipler who owned Windsor Lass. And he's still in the lead as they thunder on towards Tattenham Corner. And here is Tattenham Corner. Many a dob has been lost and won on this tricky bend where jockeys need all their horsemanship to keep close in as they head for the straight. In the straight, Carioca seems to be tiring and he's fallen back. Thackerton's going to the front, well ahead of Bala Hisser, who's perfectly placed on the rails. Barely two furlongs from the post, Thackerton holds his lead, coming home by himself. Pay up is close. Oh, and now Mahmoud's going faster than all of them. Mahmoud's catching Thackerton, and so is Taj Akbar. Mahmoud's the grey horse, he's gone clear to the front, it's his race, nothing can catch him now. Mahmoud wins, Mahmoud's the winner with Tajakpa second and Thackerton third. Another triumph for the Aga Khan, 